In this video, I will be proposing a light metro network for New York City. These light metro lines will be fully automated and grid separated, and will be a supplement to the existing subway and commuter rail network of the city. Starting in Manhattan, I propose six light metro lines. The first light metro line will run on the west side of Manhattan, from South Ferry to Midtown, along West Street with two branches running cross town along 34th and 42nd street respectively. Now, here is something you might not expect. I propose running the line on the high line for a section. Since this is kind of controversial, an alternative would be to simply continue the line along West Street. After all, the best opportunity to use that abandoned line for rail service is gone after it was turned into a park. 34th and 42nd street will be turned into car-free streets featuring ample space for pedestrians and protected bike lanes, which will completely transform the look of this entire area into a more vibrant and walkable place. The next light metro line will run on the east tip of Manhattan, where decent subway coverage is lacking. At 14th Street, it will split into two branches, one running cross town along 14th and the other continuing north to 57th Street. 14th Street is a busy bus corridor and has already been a successful busway. Now, let's move one step forward to turn it into a light metro line that will increase the capacity and be even faster. The third line will be a cross-town line along 23rd Street. The fourth line will be an unfinished loop line running cross-town along 96th and 57th Street and running north-south along York Avenue and 11th Avenue. Since running a train line through Central Park is a non-starter, Take the crosstown buses or walk or bike instead. With crosstown lines on 14th, 23rd, 34th, 42nd, and 57th Street, Midtown Manhattan will get convenient crosstown lines around every 10 blocks, completely transforming crosstown travel. The final line in Manhattan is a crosstown line along 110th and 116th Street. This would make up for the lack of crosstown lines between 57th and 110th Street. Next, we will look at the Bronx. In my Cross Bronx subway video, I propose a line along Fordham Road as a branch off the IND Concourse Line and a line along Tremont Avenue and the Cross Bronx Expressway. I have since decided to revise them and post them as light metro lines instead. The Fordham Road line will be extended west to Broadway and 207th Street in Inwood, with a potential extension to City Island on the east end. The Tremont Avenue CBX line will still have two branches. The branch that continues along Tremont Avenue will go to Frog's Neck. The branch along the CBX will turn south to extend into Queens, where it will run along 130th Street, Omer Street, Main Street, Sutton Boulevard, Rockway Boulevard, 147th Avenue, and ending near the city limits. This alignment will parallel the heavily used Q44 and Q111 buses. The lower Montauk branch of the L.A. De Bar will be converted into a light metro line running between Jamaica and Long Island City. To better connect with the IBX and Queens Link, the line would turn onto Metropolitan Avenue east of Woodhaven Boulevard and turn back onto the existing right away before Fresh Pond Road. A spur will be built to Queens Plaza with a stop at Sunnyside using the Montauk cutoff. Then, we have an interborough line between Red Hook Brooklyn and LaGuardia Airport in Queens. This corridor could probably see a subway line in the future given that it parallels the Q58 bus, which sees 21,000 riders per weekday, the second busiest bus line in the city. Additionally, a line metro line along Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn and a Astoria Boulevard in Queens will be great for intra-borough connectivity. The line along Flatbush Avenue could potentially be extended into Manhattan via the Brooklyn Bridge. Next, I propose an extension of the Hudson Brooklyn Light Rail into Staten Island. Last but not least is the Interborough Express. This line was not proposed by me, but MTA has considered automating it and making a light metro line, so I'll include it into my light metro network. While the subway and commuter rail will still be the backbone of New York City's transit system, these light metro lines will be covering various corridors that those modes of transportation has missed to cover. And since I've envisioned these light metro lines to be automated and grid separated, they will be able to operate at similar speeds and frequencies as subway lines, thus providing a similar level of capacity as these modes. To learn more about other transit projects New York City should build, I strongly recommend this playlist. Thank you, and I'll see you in that playlist.